Struggle is real ka ba sa pagbuo ng statement of the problem mo? Watch this video and let's make it as easy as 1, 2, 3. SOP or Statement of the Problem. For some student researchers, this is the hardest part of the research process. Actually, magiging mahirap lang ito if you do not know anything about your topic. Eh di ba, hindi ka naman pumili ng topic na hindi mo interest at hindi mo alam. And for some who have knowledge or background information about their topic, still, they find this hard because they do not know how to formulate questions about their topic. So ito, ito yung ituturo natin ngayon sa video natin. Kung paano ang pagbuo ng research questions. Una, ang research questions depende yan sa type ng study mo. If experimental ba yan, correlational, descriptive, etc. So, it will depend po ano, sa type ng study mo. Pangalawa, ang research questions ay napakahalaga kasi this part sets the direction as to where your study will go. This puts you on the right track. Pangatlo, this states what you want to accomplish or achieve in your study. That is why the questions should be relevant to your topic. Hindi pwedeng kung ano-anong tanong lang ang ilalagay mo dyan. Ngayon, ang statement of the problem ay may dalawang bahagi. Una ay ang general problem at pangalawa ay ang specific problems. So yung general problem... This is a sentence or sentences as opening sa part na ito ng iyong SOP. Usually, nakabase ito sa research title mo. Ire-restate mo lang dito yung general problem na cover ng study mo. Okay, so let's take this one as an example of a general problem. The study aimed to determine peer tutoring and its effects on reading fluency of grade 11 students of academic senior high school of the city of Maykawayan. Okay, so in this example, it is very observable na naka-anchor siya sa research title. Nirestate lang siya mabuti at naging general problem na siya ng ating statement of the problem. Now, yung second part ng SOP ay yung specific problems. These are stated as questions. So, kung yung general problem ay pa-statement siya, these ones are in question form. Now, in regards to research questions, there are two general types of questions formulated in research. These are the non-researchable questions and the researchable questions. According to Dr. Amadeo Pangilin and Cristobal, non-researchable questions are questions of value. These are questions that are answerable by yes or no. Okay, let's have examples. So, example number one. Do all grade 11 students eat breakfast before attending to their morning class? So, kita natin, no? This one is just answerable by yes or no. Okay, so another question. Should senior high school students taking ABM be good in mathematics? So, this one is also a non-researchable question because it is answerable by yes or no. On the other hand, researchable questions are questions of value, opinion, or policy raised to gather data. This involves the use of question words such as who, what, where, when, why, and how. Okay, so let's present examples of researchable questions. So one, what is the profile of the students in terms of 1.1 age, 1.2 gender, 1.3 grade and strand, and 1.4 health condition. Okay, so that one is what we call factor isolating question. Okay, now let's proceed to the next example. So how does study habits influence the level of achievement of grade 12 students in English subject? Ito naman po is an example of a factor relating question. 
Okay, so another example of a researchable question. What are the effects of online learning on the level of performance of senior high school students? So this one is what we call situation-relating question. In this example, based on the findings, what policy may be formulated to improve the school's modular distance learning modality? So this one is a situation-producing question. Ayan, so ang dami natin pinakitang samples sa ng research questions. Binigay din natin yung iba't ibang types ng research questions. By the way, don't worry. I will give you the definition and explanation of each type sa description section natin sa ibaba. Okay, so as always, I will provide you with a clearer sample of how we develop research questions based from our research title. Okay, so our research title is Peer Tutoring, Its Effects on Reading Fluency of Senior High School Students. So our general problem is this, the study aimed to determine peer tutoring and its effects on reading fluency of grade 11 students of academic senior high school of the city of Maykawayan. So, gaya ng sabi natin kanina, naka-ankla siya sa research title mo. Ire-restate mo lang siya. And this will be your general problem. Let's now proceed with the specific problem. So, these ones are in question form. Okay? So, still yan pa rin yung title natin. So here, specifically, it sought to answer the following questions. Number one, how may peer tutoring be described as a strategy in reading? Question number two, what is the level of reading fluency of grade 11 students of academic senior high school of the city of Mekawayan? Question number three, does peer tutoring have significant effects on reading fluency? Okay, so dito... Nakita natin yung dalawang general types ng questions. Yung non-researchable question as um, seen in question number 3, answerable by yes or no. And then yung 1 and 2 naman are examples of researchable questions. Kuha pa tayo ng isa pang example. So the title of the research study is Spiral Curriculum in Mathematics Education and Assessment. Okay, so this is the statement of the problem or SOP. Ito yung general problem. The study was directed towards its main objective of making an assessment regarding the use of spiral curriculum in mathematics education. Specifically, so ito na po yung ating specific problems, yung research questions. The researchers sought answers to the following questions. Number one, how may the profile of mathematics teachers be described in terms of age, gender, highest degree of educational attainment, and years of teaching in mathematics? Okay, question number two, what are the perceptions of teacher respondents in the spiral curriculum? And question number three, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using spiral curriculum in mathematics? Ganyan lang ka schoolers, madali lang diba? Wala namang hiwaga dyan. As long as yung research questions mo ay related or relevant sa topic mo. So, wag kang lalayo, no? Huwag kang maglalagay ng mga questions na hindi naman related or relevant sa topic mo. So, ayan ka, schoolers. Thank you so much sa inyong mga views, sa inyong mga likes, at sa inyong mga comments. So, please share our video to our fellow student researchers. Let's help them in their research journey. So, again, this is Ma'am Anna saying, if coffee is life, research is lifer. Wow, may quote na tayo. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.